Hey guys, how you going? Are you doing good? Are you doing good? Are you doing good? I think you are doing good. Unless you're not, in which case it's not very good. But if you are doing good, that is good. Nick here from Doig Production. How are you doing? If you, you know, aren't doing good, again, it's not very good. But if you are, that's great. So, gonna tell you another tale today, told by me, Nick. Nick tells tales, that's why I'm the one telling the tales. And this one involves my work, right? Now, I work as a basketball referee. I've been doing that now for close to five years, I think. Um, so, you know, I'm, I know basketball. I know the rules, all that sort of thing. I've been playing since I was year one, so that was, like, a long time ago. Now, recently, I was refereeing. I've been refereeing all day, like, from eight o'clock. And it was now, like, close to six. So I'd gone from morning to night. I'd pulled a muscle in my leg so I couldn't run, and walking hurt. It was a difficult day. I was annoyed. I was tired because, you know, didn't sleep the night before very much because, yeah. But still, you know, I'm at the last game. It's an under-20s game, and I'm, you know, I'm just there doing my thing, just refing. Yeah. <sighs> yep, that is a, a foul on number seven, etc., etc. In fact, I wouldn't have done that. It would have been like... That is a foul! That is a... That is seven black. That's a hands foul. Two shots. That... That's probably how I would have done it if there was a, a foul on seven black. But what happened was one of the coaches was having a go at my refereeing. They were disagreeing with my calls and they were saying I should call some things that I wasn't calling. One of them was cross court. Now, not sure how well you guys know basketball. Some of you might know it really well. Some of you might not know it really well at all. So I'm going to explain it for you right now. The cross-court violation. It's also called the back-court violation. Now, there's two halves in basketball on, on the court. There's two halves of the court. Now, the back-court is the one opposite, the one where you're shooting. So you're shooting in your front court and you're defending in your back court. Now, if you get the ball and bring it from your back court into your front court and then take it back into your back court that's actually a violation and the other team gets the ball now this coach was having a go at me for not calling a certain cross court violation now I looked at the situation and I'll explain it to you what the person had their left foot over the line in their front court their right foot was in the back court and they had the ball in the front court now, that's not actually a backcourt violation because they were coming from the backcourt to the frontcourt. But, you know, some people can say, well, they've got part of them in the backcourt, part of them in the frontcourt. That is a violation. Other teams board. But no, the coach was just like, call the cross court. So I was like, right, hang on a second. I held up the game because it was like, you know, a point where I could hold up the game because... I'm the referee, I can do what I want, but I was like, stop, just hold on a second. And I went to the coach and I was like, so, uh, you know, being the, the coach that you are, I know you've coached a lot of basketball, you would obviously know all the rules pretty well. And I'm like, yes, yes I do. That's why that there is a cross court. And then I was like, well, actually, if you read in the 2010 updated FIBA rules, which, just so you guys know, is the most recent. So I was like, if you read in the 2010 FIBA updated rules, under the 8 second violation section, you will find that it identifies the ball to be in the front court once you have three points of contact. Those being both the feet and the ball. Now, once both the, th the feet and the ball are in the front court, the ball is deemed in the front court. But, if they still have a foot in the back court, the ball is not deemed to have actually gone into the front court. So, technically, it's not cross-court, because the ball can't have crossed from the back court to the front court and back to the back court if it hasn't even been in the front court yet. Can it? Can't have really gone back. So, you're kind of wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? And the coach just stood there. And, of course, you know, there's, everybody's watching. I've just stopped the game. I'm going to say this is the coach. Everyone's just looking at the coach, and the coach is just like... Yeah, yeah, continue. I thought that was great! I just quietly walked away, smugly, just casually, back to where I need to be, grabbed the ball and was like, alright, ball's in play, and we continued the game. And that's how it happened. Now, 
what's really great is that I don't act, I've never read the rules. Like, I know the rules because I've been playing since I was in year one, I've been refereeing for five years, blah 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 blah, so I know all the rules, but I haven't actually read the rule book. So I can't tell you what article anything is in, or what section, or anything like that. But, I'm trying to upgrade in ranks, because in basketball there's different ranks for your refereeing, so the higher rank you are, the more you can get paid, the higher level games you can ref, etc, etc, and I want to upgrade. Now, in that I've got to do a written exam. So, you know, I was looking through some of the, the things that I've got to look through for that, and one of them brought up an example of this exact situation where the person has a foot in the front court, foot in the back court, and the ball in the front court, and asking if it is a back court violation, true or false, it is a back court violation. So, you know, I'd done my research, I was like, well, um, um, excuse me, supervisor, referee person, how does this go? And they were like, oh, yeah, that's how it goes, actually, it's like this. So, I realised then, because they explained, oh, yeah, it's in the 8 second section, because the 8 second violation says that you can only have the ball in your back court for 8 seconds. So, it needed to determine when you get in the front court. That's why it said, you know, three points of contact, etc, etc. So, I knew that one bit. That's the one thing I know out of the basketball rule book. Only one thing. I know all the rules, but that's the only bit I actually know from the rule book. So, I was like, yep, that went well. Oh, yeah, that went good. Because, you know, I just used my tiny bit of knowledge of the basketball rule books, rules, and it really made the coach actually look pretty bad in front of everyone. That was a bit mean. Oh well, made me look great. So that's all that matters. Anyway, the game went reasonably well after that. Everything was fine. The coach didn't say anything. All was good. Hope you enjoyed this tale. If you did, leave a like rating down below. If you didn't, uh, leave a comment suggesting any other sort of tale you want me to do. Give me a theme and I'll think up some event that has happened in my past that will incorporate that theme and, and I'll tell it as a tale. If you just want to comment on the video what you think I should have done in that situation, what you would do in that situation, etc, etc. And uh, any suggestions for any other type of videos, comment below, subscribe up here if you already haven't, if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you all around sometime. In the next week, this is Nick from Doy Production, signing out. Have fun doing fun stuff.